Quick peek at the corner wall and broad. Stocks were up sharply today on the belief that they think a deal is uh, just a matter of time here. They're dotting the I's, crossing the D's. But a lot of these guys are doing the same with buy orders, convinced that a government shutdown will be averted. To Democratic strategists, Sarad Fatal, we've also got Cat Tent and Campus Reforms, Lawrence Jones. You can see the whole thing has choked me up. Um, so, Lawrence, <laughs> what do you think about the prospects the president would ultimately sign this? Um, uh, party pressure may try to get him to do it, but I, again, I think the president ends up doing a state of emergency. Uh, look, so I, he doesn't do this. He goes to the emergency. Yeah, he's probably going to go to do the state of emergency, but he wants to keep the government operating. He doesn't want the political blowback for this. But what this bill is symbolic of is both parties aren't really willing to solve the problem. This is a, a total waste of time. This does not fix the border crisis. This does not get immigration reform. What this does do is give both parties some type of political cover so they don't have to shut down the government because they're not willing to roll up their sl sleeves and act like adults and get this done. You know, you could make that argument, sir, but you could also say if both sides are dissatisfied with the final yep. product, that must be an yeah, okay sign. A rare moment of agreement right here. I think this is one of these political footballs that have been passed for decade after yeah. decade after decade. Um, but compromise is when, okay, when both sides are unhappy about something, it probably means you got to some level of compromise. In this case, look, uh, I'm not satisfied with um, this increased funding. I'm not satisfied with no hard, hard caps on detention beds for ICE um, and more funding. But at the same time, I think um, nobody wants to shut down the government again. Very painful for the country, very bad for the president's politics and his poll numbers, and I don't think he's going to do it. You know, Kat, you could say in the end that a lot of the big measures that people were looking forward to, including that Lawrence pointed out, aren't addressed here. Uh, maybe that's punted to another day, much like addressing, in, you know, entitlement spending and the rest. But mm -hmm. <clears throat> on that, here we go again. Yeah, absolutely. I don't think that that's going to happen anytime soon. We absolutely do need comprehensive immigration reform, or else we're just going to have these little issue after little issue. But I think that he does need to sign the deal. So I disagree with what you there, the <laughs> What would be the danger if he were to declare an emergency? I know even Mitch McConnell said that would be a bigger problem than... Well, that's than, using than a, a lot of executive a power, right? And if you're conservative, you're generally not supposed to be in favor of using your power, you know, being a very powerful executive like right. that. And what, how would that affect future presidents? Would they be able to do similar sorts of things? So I don't think that's the solution either. I think that we need to have a more comprehensive look at immigration and at border security, but I think that this is a start. And what's the other option? The other option would be shutting down the government, and you I know, agree that that would and, be politically and, and awful. Think before we get ahead of ourselves here, we thought we had a deal back in December last year, right? And the president was, was going to sign off on this. He got political you know, blowback. And he got right, political blowback from, from conservatives. Now, we're going to talk to Mark Meadows, one of those leading conservatives, who I'm told is not a big fan of this package. Um, but if he faces similar blowback, Sean Hannity's and others come out, rail Ryan against Coulter. this, right. Not just that, his base. Yeah. I mean, it was the first time I ever saw the president actually in danger with his base. Look, I'm a you reasonable really think guy. think that he would be in danger with his oh, base most if he signs on to it's, a, it's the first promise that he made that he was going to secure the border. I disagree. And I do believe... You don't think this at least I, can look, partially it, address people no, that it more money is there it, than the, this, I disagree. This, They're not his gonna base can read the numbers in because Washington. Because right? what the president should do is what he said he would do. He would compromise on DACA, that he wanted some type of compromise when it comes to getting legal immigration... Uh, 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 to happen in this country, but you also got to secure the border as well. You cannot make the same mistake that Ronald Reagan made and decided, oh, I'm just going to do immigration reform, but I'm not going to secure the border. Sir, I, I, I actually think that, look, the president needs to realize, and, and the activist group on, on the Republican side that's angry, is and cold or whatever, there's an agenda. Twitter is not life. That what? the vast majority, I know, right? The vast majority of people in this country, including his base, don't want a government shutdown, right? And that's what it is. You might have the loudest voices out there trying to sell books. Well, the argument also, is where else are they going to go? What, right? what else is the right. alternative, right? To the left, a lot of people are talking about just completely abolishing ICE. The, ba the base might be upset, and right. Coulter's definitely going to fire off some tweets kind of making fun of Trump for being weak, and we can all see the writing on the wall as far as that goes. But his base, ultimately, he is stronger on border security than anyone else in terms of he actually believes. So, so I don't think his base... To, it will all come to pass. I don't think his say. base goes... I might not be no. happy about it, but it will no, come to pass. because it's, it's nonsense. Okay. <laughs> don't, don't gray the lines in the future, Lawrence. We want to know what you're <laughs> By the way, a fellow who doesn't gray the lines is coming up with us right now. His support on this would be crucial to the president. He speaks for many conservatives. Mark Meadows, the man who heads the Freedom Caucus. What he thinks about this and what he is recommending the president do about this after this.